Happy New Year! Hey everybody, it's Raven Maureen and we are officially in 2024 and my first video of 2024, I want to share with you how to kickstart your sewing goals. So I came up with this, I, this idea because so many of you shared so many wonderful comments about how you were inspired by everything that I made in 2023, which really warmed my heart. But then also I got like a little sad when I was reading some of the comments. And this is across all of my channels where you guys were like, I wish I could do this many, but I have, or I wish that this was something but I have this this and this so I want to share with you some of my tips that help me get organized and just help me kickstart my goals at the top of every single year so I have my notebook y'all grab a drink grab a snack whatever you need and we're gonna get into this list so the first thing I did in my sewing room was I decluttered I mean I was like if I ain't looked at it in a minute, it's gotta go. I had behind me patterns just stacked up. Old pattern weights stacked up. Just, and for what? <laughs> for what? So I decluttered. I, I actually got a new organizer for a lot of like my postage needs for my Etsy shop. And that really cleared the space for my cutting table. And that was like a long, I wouldn't call it a long-term goal of mine, but it was something that I had really been like, I need to set time aside to organize all this stuff so now that i have my 10 drawer organizer for all of my etsy and postage needs i can see my cutting table clearly and i am i just i just feel clearer so i not only decluttered that space but i also reorganized my fabric closet and i actually did a a little youtube short about that and then i cleared off this rack behind me and now it's just things that i want to focus on in january so i did quite a bit to declutter and get reorganized and just kind of like clear my head um i don't know about you guys but i have to have a clean space in order to work if you are wired like me and you need to have that 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 just that just breath of fresh air then definitely take time this weekend declutter reprioritize declutter reprioritize and get organized like i know that was a lot of eyes but it's the truth okay next decide what projects you're really passionate about and i'm actually going to be doing this in my um 2024 sewing goals for myself there is something and it's been around for a while and sometimes i'll participate sometimes i won't but it's called make nine so it with make nine you decide on nine nine garments or nine projects that you are just extremely passionate about it's a non-starter and this is what you want to make for this year and i feel like nine is achievable in most cases and so for me i'm gonna have my own sewing goals plus a make nine because there are some things that i didn't get to last year and i'm like 2024 gotta do it um so i would say if you if you don't have the time if you don't have time to do 52 makes or 85 makes or however many of a large number that that seems unapproachable or unreachable try for nine or if you want to condense and say listen I'm going to do make six, make it your own, make it your own thing. But I would say, just keep thinking of what is something that you wish you had or wish you could make and just really get passionate about it. If that passion drives you to start sketching, start sketching it. If that passion drives you to go to the, to the, to the fabric store, go to the fabric store and get inspired and take it all in. Get a journal. Y'all, when I tell you that i am a notebook girly like i love paper i have always loved paper it is a running joke in my family how much i love paper i have notebooks and notebooks and notebooks and notebooks of just lists of things to do like joe is like you know he he makes fun of me a little bit like oh i found another another one of your lists but honestly to write down what i want to achieve helps me tremendously and for some reason i'm able to keep up with what notebook i put what in somehow some kind of way get a cute one from home goods or target home goods is probably going to be cheaper you don't have to get an agenda book just get something that says notes 
journal. I don't know. <laughs> and just, just write down certain things that you want or write down your to-do list for that day and see where that takes you. I promise it'll take you far. Log off. I'm serious. Um, yes, I am a content creator. Yes, I spend a good amount of time on social media, um, not only in my personal spaces, but also for DG. And I say this, I say this because I know this. Log off. Give yourself a day. Give yourself a few hours. Don't check those notifications. Just step away for a minute because right now you're going to see a lot of people saying what's in what's out and you're going to be inundated with a lot of things and that may not actually line up with you or your goals or you may not be a social media person and maybe that's something that you're trying to do but if that's not really you then baby log off and and go back to it when you're ready find your why so i know this sounds so cliche like i even as i'm saying it i'm like this is so cliche raven but if you find out why you are wanting to sew, maybe it's because you do need to build up your wardrobe. Maybe it's because you have, you know, a new baby in your life and you want to make baby clothes. Maybe it's you want to enhance the skills in your hobby. You want to grow your skills. You want to actually get back into sewing. So find out your why and that will sometimes help you prioritize your goals. If you're new to sewing, then your goal may be, hey, I would like to understand patterns and so I'm going to pick up an e easy to sew pattern. Once you find your why, you're able to follow through with steps. Now, if you're like, oh, I, I, you know, I live in a cold climate and I realize that I have outgrown all of my outerwear. I need to sew more outerwear. Okay, so pick up a few, a few coat patterns, decide what you're really passionate about and then go from there. And so you see how finding your why can help drive you to the final result? It works. Be realistic. And I mean that. This goes back to the make nine, make six, find your why. You need to be realistic and find out if certain things fit your lifestyle. So um, I mentioned that in my everything I made in 2023 video, I mentioned that I realized I do not live in a terribly cold climate, right? So it's like, why was I making things that didn't match the climate? So I need to be more realistic in what I'm making and make sure that it makes sense in my lifestyle. However, your girl loves an outerwear pattern, so I don't really see that going that way for me. But for you, if you realize, listen, I work Monday through Friday, eight to five, I have a second job. I, you know, I want to fit in this sewing hobby, but I need to figure out how I can do this. So if your issue is time, try Brittany J. Jones. Her method is sewing 30. I actually have been doing that this week because I've been trying to fill, like do a lot in, in every single day. And I did 30 minutes of sewing this morning. I got pretty far in my project and I was like, wow, I feel really accomplished. Like, that was good. And, and and I need to be more consistent with that, honestly, because whenever I do practice sewing in 30 minutes, it works. It really does. And so um, if you have a chance, definitely follow uh, Brittany J. Jones if you're not already following her. And she has a few videos on sewing in 30. She talks about it pretty frequently. And I remember when she actually shared this idea with the community. It was a few years back. And it's it's really just been her baby and she and she does so well with it and it works for her and i've seen it work for other people and obviously i've just told you it works for me so if you are trying to be realistic about time try to exercise that little bit each night and i i feel like when i talk to a lot of you all in dms or just in conversation a lot of it does have to do with time and so i feel like sewing in bite-sized pieces or saying you know what I'm going to do the sleeves today and I'm going to get as far as I can with that and I'll do the collar tomorrow. Little things like that. So maybe sewing in 30 minutes is not going to be your jam. Pick something in that project that you feel like will work for you. For me, I very much prefer to batch cut. So if I have in my head two ideas or a handful of ideas that I want to achieve in a week, 
I will cut those in a single day. And it's because I don't have the best back. So to do that repetitively over a matter of days is like H-E double hockey sticks for me. But to do it in one day and say, no, I am going to batch cut today and I'm going to take as many breaks as I need. I'm going to do as many stretches as I can. And then after that, I do not have to stand up and cut anything. And for me personally, that works because then I can look forward to sewing and really taking in the process of things. So batch cutting, sewing in 30, all of these tools and resources can really help you achieve your goals as long as you're realistic within your time constraints and what your lifestyle is. All right, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you can follow me at Raven Maureen on TikTok, Instagram, and Threads. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.